it going guys? Shallow MC33 here. I'm going to make a couple of noob to the noob guides. This one's going to center around landing at all of the planets and uh, how to do it. Seems easy, but as soon as you uh, land on a couple planets, you may not think so. Not everything is handed to you in this game, which is part of the fun of it. But after you've hit your head against the wall enough times and found this video, well, let me help you out a bit. So the first one we're at is Art Corp. But before any of that, what I want you to do is go to your options. Okay? You're going to go to Key Bindings. Advanced Control Customization. Right? Are you there? Are you with me? Okay. Now we're going to go to Flight Movement all the way down for some freaking reason there it is request landing I have it set to F3 because that is an open button if you have another button you'd like to put it on wonderful but do yourself a favor before you start doing landing anywhere make that request landing happen it's it's a world of pain you will be avoiding Crashing randomly because you're looking at your Moby glass. Well, really, that's that's it. You're just going to be crashing a lot and frustrated and freaking out trying to exit out of the Moby glass and hitting exit. But that's not exiting out of your Moby glass. That's just going to the exit screen with your options. Okay, I've done it a couple times. Anyway, just do that. And let's move on. Beautiful views. All right, let's go and get to the screen. Don't need the map right now. We're at Art Corp. So, from scratch one, let's do this. We press B. B gives us all our point of interest. Okay, red means we can't directly go there, something's in the way, or the game's glitching. That is also a thing. All big planets, Art Corp, Microtech, Hurston, um, Cloud City, whatever the name is, there is always a main port. And the main port is symbolized by that home plate to the right of my screen. Okay, now if I go over it, there it is. Area 18 is the main spot here. So we're going to let it calibrate. And uh, the spooling is already complete. And then hold down B. And we will flip upside down and make our merry way there. What you're looking for is that nice flat part off the city. Now, ew, I'm angling right at it. That flat part is the only place with that red flashing light. And it also has a, a pretty heavy purple lights. And that's the main highway, I guess that goes to the spaceport. So when you see that, that's how you know it's the spaceport. I'm killing it with the words today. Now let's go back into my bright freaking interior. There's got to be a way to turn down the lights in here. I'm, I know where I am, so I'm just going to get out of that... Um, Thank you. Please visit again. Okay, I haven't even visited yet, okay? Alright, but that when they do that and they start talking to you, that's how you know you're within range. So you can go ahead at that point and hit that handy dandy F3. And he should tell you this. Please proceed to assign landing bay. His timing was terrible, so close. Okay. Now you get that chevron over there in a circle. That's where you're landing. At area 18, it's uh, on the top. Wait, am I right about that? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Mm, doesn't look like it. I think, well, let's find out. Autopilot overriding engaged. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, this is probably a good time to tell you. For some freaking reason, if you're too low on these these air ports, space ports, they freak out. And uh, yeah, autopilot will take over and you'll think that you're in the wrong area and spend many a time flying around in circles. So the way to avoid that is come at it from the top and go right where you need to go before the restricted area flips you around because whatever. Whatever. There it is. Okay. So the smaller ships can go into the side. If you look right there, that's where a larger ship can go into. But the smaller guy, we just come here, which I, I like these side ones. They're easier in my opinion. As I almost crash into the control center. Hit N is your landing gear. Control will take you down. And boom. All right. Another way to do that is let's say you're here, you can hold N and it will land for you. The benefits of that is, well, it lands for you. And also you can restock your stuff while it's landing for you. All right, I'll, I'll try not to say for you anytime. I can't make that promise. I'm gonna say it again by the end of this video. All right, let's get out of here and let's go on to the next. Uh, let's go to Hurston. Yes, one of my favorites. Uh, hello, Hurston. It's been a while. Okay. Same thing here. We go and look for that baseball diamond. Well, it's not one of the diamonds. It's the home plate. <clears throat> okay, take two. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the home plate of Hurston? Somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. Wow. Right on the edge. Here we are, Lorville. Oh, perfect. I'm getting all the night shots here. Great. Well, at least if you could find it at night, it should be easier in the day, hypothetically. Although Hurston is pretty damn easy in the night. As you can see, that that block of lights, the blue lights there, that's the spaceport. Easy as that. If you can't find it, um, there's a giant. I don't know what what to call it. Um, world wonder, <laughs> a big ass building that's right in front of it. It uh. Yeah, I, you could kind of see it in the, the dark with all that all those red lights on it. That's a that's a big uh, yeah. It's just a big building. I, I don't know what the hell to call it. Anyway, it's right there. So we go ahead and hit F3, and it should tell us exactly where it wants us to go. Make our lives easier. And lights for your ship is L, and if you're on the ground, it is T. I know I'm not, you know, trying to do ground tips right now, but it seemed appropriate. Get down our landing gear. Um, he's not speaking to me. Hey, yo, let me land. Give me a place. What is your issue? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, has it? Oh, please, do tell. Right there. Thank you, kind sir. Asshole. Um, Hurston is top down. Everyone I've been... Uh, every landing pad I have been on Hurston is top down, so correct me if I'm wrong. And this is <laughs> not a pro tip. This is a noob tip. Oh, I'm just going to end up going in it without even trying. Wow. Look at those skills. Hold on. So, damn, wind, calm down. I usually put my nose really far here. 
and then I just look up, go back, and then straight down. And I usually have a pretty easy time doing it that way, just to be safe. And if I want, I can adjust here, or once again, just hold the N, and my life is made easier. Flawless victory. Okay, onwards to... Warning. Oh. oh what? Yeah, shut up. I'm trying to think. Okay, um... Okay, let's, let's just go to Cloud City and get this over with. I'm not a fan of Orison. I mean, it's cool looking. I like the idea. Conceptually beautiful. But laggy and a long drive. And also kind of hard to find the uh, landing pads. But enough bitching and let's head to the next one. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Um, so you see that little, uh, that little chevron there? That is a fellow pilot, if you did not know that. And sometimes if you can't find where you need to land, those guys, unless they're trying to kill you, are going to the landing pad. So you could kind of follow them if you get lost. That's sometimes an applicable fix. Oh, and when there's no one around, it is not. So, you know, many different ways to hopefully Quench that problem of glitches you're going to run across when that nice control man doesn't want to tell you where to land. And he will. He is a spiteful little shit. And uh, since I need fuel, since I forgot to get fuel, those squares right there that are above the planet, those rounded squares, this one is Everest Harbor. Those are stations. Those are planet stations, so you can get fuel and stuff there, too. Tip about stations, since I am ending up landing on one, you're going to coast for a good long while. I do like a little, um, like a shuffleboard. I kind of guess how fast I can go for it to stop right at the right distance. I found about 900 and 1,000 is a pretty good shot. Don't take my word for it because you may just crash. But um, yeah, just be aware that you can crash really easy trying to get to stations because you'll overshoot it. But other than that, they're really easy to land at. Yo, calm down. I am. Okay. Durka, durka, durka. Yep, see there's another chevron right there of someone uh, either landing, floating, or going to kill me. It's kind of the options of that. Uh, oh, there's my landing pad. It seems to be a pretty popular uh, spot. I don't know why. See, look at this. I'm about to overshoot. I do it all the time, even though I know it. A way to kind of mitigate it is you can scroll your wheel down so that you can only go... What the hell? Something just targeted me. That's never a good sign. I forgot what the hell I was saying. I was getting paranoid. Okay. While auto lands, get fuel and get out of here before someone crash lands into me. Crash lands into me. I get it. God. Huh. Too many people here on Friday. Obstructing parking. This is where you told me to land. See, this is what I told you. This guy is is a prick, and he's at every station. 
I don't know how they get the same. Do they clone their control tower? Oh my god, I'm getting out of here. Go, go to hell. Thank you for cooperation. You're an asshat. All right, we're here at Crusader, this monstrous freaking planet. I mean, it's beautiful, for sure. It's actually really beautiful, but I don't like being here. Port here is, God, it's big. There we go. Orison, right there. Engage. So, while I'm going there, it, it's about three times as long to get to the quote unquote surface. There is no surface, this is a floating uh, uh, station in the atmosphere. But it takes a really long time to fly there and fly out of it. So, yeah, that's part of the problem. But while that's happening, and I fast forward. If you guys could leave me a like, thumbs up, follow, you know the routine. I very much appreciate it. I'm trying to grow out my channel. And yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this now. All right, I got daytime this time. Okay, so when you're coming in, it's kind of hard to find this place because everything tends to look alike. So what I do is hit tab, and tab will give you an outline of everything. Now, it doesn't change much right now because it's day, but during the night it makes it very clear the outline of every unit. But if you look around, most of these things look like circuitry, very angular lines, right? There's only one place, and it's right there, that kind of looks like a brain neuron. A, a little more organic. Let's see if I can see it from out here. Yeah. So you can see that right there. Burn that in your mind's eye. That is where the landing pads are. And it took me way too long to figure that out. So I'm going to get closer and probably fast forward some more. Okay, an hour and a half later, I'm close enough to go ahead and ask for landing. And he is... Proceed to sign landing bay. Oh, same dude. He is everywhere. Let's hope he's in a better mood over here. I wish you can see where I'm supposed to land from this, this view. Because, you know way prettier this way. Oh well. Can't have everything. Oh, is this a top down? No, 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 no. Still from the side. Which side though? Hmm? Uh, I think the side. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone I've landed Orson has been on the side, but that doesn't mean there's ones that aren't on top. I just don't have really big ships. Uh, my biggest one is a Max Freelancer. And I don't come here often, as you can tell by my, my pure love for this place. Don't forget end your landing gear, go down, boom. Okay, now, honestly, I'm just going to turn around and get the hell out of here as fast as possible. Let me go. Three. <laughs> I don't want to be here. All right, the next one is Microtech. I'll see you guys there. Whee! Hydrogen fuel is 75%. Okay, anytime, anyway. 75%. Time to put a cookie in my mouth. Because I have all the time in the world to burn for this jump. Okay, Microtech. The last one on the stop. New Babbage is the main city here. 
Same as before, wait for it to calibrate. And make it so. Or if you prefer, engage. It's like my Patrick Stewart mixed in with um, Sean Connery. Warning, you are blocking an active flight bay. Please vacate the vicinity. Whoa, whoa, okay, I'm not in any flight bay, new Babbage coming in a little hot, aren't you? Alright, anyway. New Babbage is pretty easy to find as well, even with all these clouds. Let's go ahead and... That's better. Kind of. Why am I looking behind myself? There we go. Oh, while we're on it, Z. If you hold it down, you can go ahead and rotate and get some good glamour shots. And and let us go right here. Perfect. So right there, over there, that's the main city. That'd be New Babbage. And if you follow, hold on, let me get about there. There we go, that's better. And if you follow over that frozen lake, I think it's frozen. Actually, I don't know what the hell it is. It could be ice for all that I know. Um, but there's like four tubes, and that's the transport tubes that go to the city, to the port. And this badass uh, fortress-looking thing that looks like the ideal spot for a zombie apocalypse fort. That is the New Babbage spaceport. It's really easy to find. You just leave the main city, find the lake, and of course, you know, you're not always going to land right above it or I should say quantum jump in that side, or you may be on the other side, and there is some other places that look kind of similar, but nothing nothing looks like that fort. So it is, it is pretty uh, stylized. It also has, of course, the landing lights and everything else. This has landing ports on the side and on top as well. And, um, yeah. I don't think I need to land here. I think you guys have got the point of landing on each one of these spots. There's basically only two ways, on top or on the side. So I think you could handle the rest. So I'll leave it at this uh, nice view. And thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you. I know it was a real pain in the ass for me when I was first starting out trying to find all these landing ports. It is nice that it doesn't break you out of immersion, but sometimes it would just be nice if they had a giant fat arrow that said over here, or at least an option to turn it on Turn it on when you're learning. If you guys like, please go ahead, thumbs up, subscribe. Um, as I said, I'm going to keep making more of these. The next one will be about... Uh, which one am I going to do? I think I'll do... Uh, I think I'll just show each city next time, or it will be uh, tips and tricks for the noob of the noobs, because I have some things that I know I'm going to forget that I actually had to learn them because they seem so basic, but you don't even think about it when you're learning. Okay, I'm rambling now. Take care, guys. See you at the verse.